In this video, we'll learn how to install a new WordPress plugin. To take a look and add plugins to your WordPress site, we'll head over to our WordPress admin dashboard and click the plugins link. Here you'll have a list of plugins that you already have installed and which ones are activated and deactivated. Some plugins come bundled with your WordPress installation, like Hello Dolly, that'll add a random Hello Dolly lyric to the top right hand corner of your screen, and a Kismet that works as a spam filter for your blog. The first plugin we recommend uploading is Backup Buddy. Backup Buddy is a premium plugin for my themes. Backup Buddy backs up your entire WordPress site, so you always have a backup plan if your site crashes, gets hacked, or if something is messed up and you just need to go back to an earlier version of your site. There are two different ways to add plugins to your website. We'll head up here to the Add New link, and this brings us to the WordPress plugin directory. The first way we can add a new plugin is by uploading it manually. We'll head up here, click the Upload Plugin link. Then you click Choose File, and you locate your plugin zip file to upload. After you upload your plugin, it'll be located in your installed plugins ready for you to activate. Now to add a plugin from your WordPress plugin directory, you can come down here and take a look at the featured plugins, the popular plugins, recommended, or any plugins that you may have favored in the past. If you already have an idea of what you're looking for, you can head over here to the search directory and type in the keywords. Once you find what you're looking for, if you aren't familiar with the plugin, you can always check out the more details link. This will give you a lot of information over the plugin, from a description to the last time it was updated, some screenshot reviews, and plenty of other useful information. We'll go ahead and install this plugin right now. Once installed, you have the option to activate it from the screen, so we'll go ahead and activate it. This will redirect us back to our plugins menu, and now we can take a look at our newly installed plugin.